it was really striking to me how how prophetic this film is as a lot of sci-fi uh you know functions um i i i really f- felt that i found a lot of resonances with the kinds of issues that we're grappling with right now um kind of on on display here in mm-hmm. this film from 1927 i don't know what about you guys uh, i thought um i think the imagery it's 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 kind of satanic yeah okay i want to put mm-hmm. that out there that yeah. lang might might not be a believer but he knows what the unbelievers are like okay so um that eternal gardens where the rich young men are playing is it's out of what is that painting with all the weird stuff in it the the uh, garden of earthly delights by yeah Bosch. Yeah, that one. That's kind of what the Eternal Gardens is like. The, there's trees yeah. there that look weird. The girls there are all strangely quaffed. Um, there's an yeah, old man with to say the least. hexagonal glasses going around, puttering around. It's a weird place. It's not a wholesome place. Uh, it looks like yeah. hell to me. Okay? Uh, when we meet... Well, then you have the vision of Moloch. So the you have these, these people working at this factory huge set pistons moving uh, with this gaping opening in the middle of it. And as Freighter is looking at it, there's going to be an explosion as the explosion happens and, and they're carting the bodies away just in time for the next shift. And then they just go on and do it again. But he sees this vision of Moloch. Moloch, as you should know, uh, is the, as your audience doubtless knows, is the, this, um, this is the reason that the Israelites got rid of the Amalekites. It's because this was their yeah. God. And Moloch they sacrifice their children to yes, you you sacrifice at least your firstborn to the fire. Um, th- Moloch eats children, and uh, to put that in there and and have uh, in case you don't you don't get it, he has the 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 screen that says Moloch. Just so you know, <laughs> yeah. I love that's probably like my favorite moment of the film is yeah. when he sees the face and then he yells it, and then he, these the intertitle the is the like. <laughs> It's uh, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome uh, and scary too. I, actually, my I, I have neat kids, and two of them sat and watched it with me. My nine year old watched. I had to have him turn away when the horror of Babylon came on. Uh, oh, but yeah. uh, he's fascinated, and, and these are it's very this expressionist. Yeah, it's weird acting style, and it's all set pieces. But he'll remember the scenes. It's it's to it's visual things that you will remember. It's a silent film. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, but so, so Moloch is, is a devil uh, eating, you know, eating these, these people. When you see the machine man, who is uh, Brigitte Helm in a very cool costume, did you notice the pentagram behind her? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And, and yeah. why is he doing this? Why is Rotvang, Rotwang, Rotvang, Rotvang, why is he doing this? It's because his, the woman that he loved, coincidentally named Hell, H-E-L, uh, she went off with Joe, I'm going to call him Joe, the head of the city, and died in childbirth giving birth to Freder. And so he is making, Rotvang is making a fake woman, a machine woman, to raise the dead. This is necromancy. This is all creepy stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, and, and we see things like that now. There was um, a case where uh, some parents used a deep fake video to have their yep. son give a, a commercial message, her, their dead son. Which... Well, their their son had died in the Parkland shootings, and they yeah. had a, 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 a CGI version of him talking about gun control. Mm. I, I wanted to point out uh, that the whore of Babylon is a machine. Yeah. So in the plot, so they go down uh, to the underworld. There's a lot of descending. Like um, for me, it reminds me of Wagner in, in the Das Rheingold when they're going down to where the Nibelung live. Um, like there's a very arresting elevator scene where you have the workers just going down. They're actually just standing in front of a screen, but the screen is showing descent in to an underworld and it's a really neat scene that you have buildings but then there's lights on the ceiling and so it's very clear that these buildings are underground in a cave Mm. 
Um, and uh, it turns out that there, Maria is somewhat of a prophetess, I guess, in a very Christian-looking cave with all kinds of crosses behind her, and she's telling a story of Babel. And, uh, well, anyway, it's a long story. It's two and a half hours. Uh, That's a great intertitle, by the way. The Babel intertitle is another of the great intertitles of this this film with the blood dripping from, or sweat or whatever it is, dripping from the letters, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, so Rodvang catches her and that's the famous scene that you've probably seen from Metropolis, which is where, uh, the, the living girl is strapped into the machine and the evil scientist somehow through science and lots of manages to make the Android look like her. And so that's the transformation scene. Uh, it's very cool special effects. I'm not sure how they did it, probably with mirrors. And yeah. uh, so the woman that is leading the city, the upper level and the lower level to ruin is a machine. And the way she does it to the upper level is through the seven deadly sins. She's the whore of Babylon. There's some, there's some nudity in this film, you know? Yeah. This um, is a European... You know, before if the production code, it'd be pre Hayes, pre pre Hayes code, pre Legion of Decency, and also European, so they didn't have that stuff anyway. Um, well, they weren't decent. So you've got some trans transparent, uh, you know, garb and you know a burlesque. Basically, that is somewhat like like to imagine that the whore of Babylon would be literally on a nightclub stage, like doing a burlesque dance, and that would be the way that she would. Yeah, entice well, if she comes out funny, as but, the whore of Babylon. They have her supported on. It's like straight she's out a of literal whore. Yeah, it's straight out of Revelation. Uh, and uh, yeah, she does all kinds of weird, jerky, strange dances, uh, which I think is on purpose. It's an awesome performance. Just like the eye thing, like one of her eyes being like weird. And uh, it's really cool. But what I found suggestive and interesting and science fiction prophetic y was <laughs> that Lang having the machine be the instrument of the lust. Mm hmm. Yeah, how about and so that? I mean, it's probably it's much more true now. But think about Weimar Republic, uh, all these these young Germans going and doing the weird things they did in the Weimar Republic. Well, how, did the technology make it easier? Does it make yeah. it easier to go wrong? Yeah, that whole sequence, uh, that whole burlesque dance with the the men gaping at at her and kind of twitching and yeah, it's, and it's breathing amazing. really heavily, and then and then there's. Uh, uh, Lang does this incredible sort of editing with with these close ups of eyes, many eyes, sort of yeah. uh, evocative of the many pistons that we see at the beginning of the film. Um, yeah. And and I I thought that if you just cut that sort of you know like ninety second sequence or however long it is, like this is a poetic um, expression of uh, you know the porn epidemic. Uh, in our own culture, like uh, I, I thought that Lang really captures the sort of mania and the addiction and the the violence that uh, internet pornography um, uh, has engendered. You know, for an entire generation. I, I love that. I, I love that it's uh, that it that evil here uses all this uses these Promethean memes, and uh, I was watching. You know this robot, this this uh, superior C three PO, by the way, Art uh, Deco C three PO. Yeah, superior in every respect. Mm. Uh, you know, be, become this woman like thing, and then that would be used to you know sub- subvert these people's culture and to you know to sow discord. And whether he's an atheist or not, I think this is so interesting that you know that that. Uh, that an atheist can uh, can still see what is good, beautiful, and true, and uh, maybe even against their will or unknowingly, you know, they put it all forth. And in, in, uh, um, and, and I think I think he does. Uh, I don't think he's an atheist. <laughs> I think he tr- I think he tricked himself. Um, I think uh, I think he I think they 
that helped clear up some of the discomfort that we have when we have when we when we decide we aren't you know it's easy it's easier and cleaner to say i'm an atheist than than it yeah. is for lang to wrestle with all this stuff for all of his days um yeah. he, he's not an atheist i just don't buy it not in this he, film for sure no uh he, but he's super cool because he has an eye patch there was an image that I noted that where the, the, the parallel imagery where the uh, the machine man also interesting that it's called the man. I mean, I know man is used generically, but even though it's a in the image of a woman, it's still actually a man, which kind of reminds me of something to go on a tangent. Kind of, I, I heard that uh, exorcists say that uh, demons uh, manifest themselves as women to trick people, but when they're actually commanded to reveal themselves by an exorcist, they always refer to themselves, like, reveal themselves as, like, a... Not that they're actually male or female, but they always, like, reveal their, their name as, like, a man's name. Huh, that is interesting. Which is kind of interesting. But yeah. anyway... Uh, <laughs> are are so you talking about man... Ellen Page? <laughs> <laughs> possibly, possibly. I don't know who that um, person is, Scott. Oh. Uh, let's not worry about it. Um, <laughs> Mich- uh <laughs> um the so the machine man is um being mobbed uh at the end of the the uh burlesque dance she's on this platform with the seven deadly sins underneath which is super awesome um and uh being raised up and all the ha- arms are reaching out and it, and then you've got this parallel image multiple times but especially when um Maria is on the platform with the lever and the gong and the children are reaching out and there's other times when they're all like reaching out to her as well. So it's interesting. Like she's a machine man is being mobbed by these men looking to exploit her. And then the Maria is mobbed by children who are looking to be, you know, saved and nurtured and mm-hmm. protected and stuff. So these two different, very, very different visions of women as well. By the way, that's the most uh, honest gentleman's club strip club in the world to have her actually come out as the whore of Babylon on the seven deadly sins, you know, just be honest. This is what the place is. But you know, I I think that increasingly that is the state of affairs in the culture. You know, I, 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 I see the mask coming off in, in the names of some of these clubs or, or, um, like I, I remember, um, uh, becoming hip to uh, a club in uh, Los Angeles that literally was, I think it was called the church or something or the, the chapel or something. Mm-hmm. And it was an old church that had been turned into like a gay club. And, uh, and, and, and it's like, you know, the, the, the diabolic nature of this is not, no longer being masked. I remember there was a club uh, uh, like on U Street in DC, called like Lost City or something like that. Uh, like, like, like really on the nose, you know. Yeah. So I think that nowadays uh, y- there probably are, you know, strip shows with the Seven Deadly Sins and uh, uh, the Horror right. of Babylon. Right. You know, like I don't think that I can't. I'm thinking of Beyonce right now for some reason. Yeah. Right, but well, like Madonna. all the occultism, all exactly. the occultism, and exactly stuff is there on the surface. Right when now. the false Maria was sent to go, sort of me- like drive the men crazy. I I was watching it with my wife, and I was like, "Yeah, it makes you think of Madonna. Like, what's that all about?" Yeah. So, y- yeah, I, on yeah, so many I want to give you another because this film is has lots of biblical overtones in it. Um, there's a story, I think John Chrysostom talks about this, uh, where the uh, the demons are driven out of the young man, and they say, please have mercy on us, uh, don't send us away. W- what do you want us to do? S- what do you want me to do, says Jesus? Send us into the pigs. Okay? And so they get sent into the pigs, and then what do the pigs immediately do? They immediately race down the cliff into the water and drown themselves. And I'm just thinking of the the people in this film, when they're driven to revolution and they go and smash the machine and drown their own kids. Wow. You know, that's the first thing they do. Let's go, let's go do it. And no, but the kids aren't drowned. They come through the water. They do. And so you have the baptism thing there. Right. And and Maria's like, this mediator's coming. This mediator's coming, and the children are hers, and they pass. The, like I was like, yeah, she might be 
girl St. John. Um, but I was like, who is she? Like, or who? Mary. Or Mary. Or Mary. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, but I was trying to figure out what her – if, you know, I don't know if how, how – I don't know if we're torturing this too much to find this imagery here. Sure. I don't think we are, sure. but uh, well, this you know, is a who, Catholic who is film podcast, so this is yeah. the sort of thing that we like to do. You know, oh, yeah. I do too. I know we're torturing this, uh, dear listeners, but you know, if you're a, <laughs> if if it's in if the culture has it, and Germany was a Christian and largely Catholic culture, and you have all of this stuff, you can just walk around there and see it in their architecture and the churches on every corner. Um, if you have these stories in the air, you can make a film which doesn't have to directly one to one be allegorical. It just has colorings and shades and hints right. Right. of the right. common culture that you share. So it's not ridiculous for us to talk about the the no. pigs or about um, baptism and Saint John the Baptist and right. You know, it, it's not crazy. No, it, it's the soup that Long is swimming in, and it, you're, it's it's going to be in his film. Has to be. 